Today, today, we're gonna win. We're gonna fight, fight, fight. Notre Dame stops it. The Irish win the game. Play with your brothers. You got a great opportunity. Let's go seize the moment. Let's go play. Inside Notre Dame football with Brian Kelly is presented by Team Notre Dame members Adidas, Gatorade, McDonald's, Coca-Cola, and Sprint. Inside Notre Dame football is also brought to you by ATI Physical Therapy, Bank of America, Cadillac, CBTS, Xfinity, Meyer, Notre Dame Federal Credit Union, Sears, Sirius XM Satellite Radio, and UPS. We all know we got work to do. We know that. There's not a guy in this room that, that, that is going to say they played their very best today. We all know that. As coaches, we got to get better. As players, we got to get better. We'll do that. We got great film to watch. We'll be able to learn off this and we'll be better for it. Irish head coach Brian Kelly after Notre Dame's solid season opening 28 6 win over Temple. Hello again, Irish fans, and welcome to the fourth season of Inside Notre Dame Football with Brian Kelly. I'm Jack Nolan. The Irish did not play their best game against the Owls, but they did many things well, including achieving one of Coach Kelly's directives for every game a quick start. Notre Dame scored two touchdowns before five minutes had passed in the first quarter. Well, we certainly had, you know, a, a quick start. We got off to a very good start. Uh, the attention to detail at times, um, we could have done better. But I like the way we came out in the third quarter. Um, you know, and then finishing strong, I think our defense finished strong. So I think there were pieces there that we can get better at. Uh, but certainly, uh, from my perspective, starting fast was, was very, very good. Maybe I should get that. Maybe you shouldn't. Brian Erlacher? I'm back to defend you from DirecTV's latest offer. With DirecTV, your bill more than doubles after a year. Not cool. And they lock you into a two-year contract that could cost you over 3000 bucks. That's a lot of cheese. That's why the smart play is Xfinity. With the X1 platform, your DVR can record four shows while you watch the game live. Go long. Don't get sacked by DirecTV. Oops. Call 1-800-XFINITY today. One more! One more! Proven hydration to help replace what you sweat out. One more championship. Let's go. Running back Amir Carlisle made his Notre Dame debut Saturday after a long wait, a wait that seemed even longer than the year he sat out after transferring from USC. In that year, until last month's training camp, Amir had been in full pads during an Irish practice just once due to injury. He showed no rust when he took a handoff from Tommy Reese on the first play of the game against Temple and raced down the left sideline for a 45-yard gain. It, it was exciting to get that first carry because he had gone through through so much when, when he transferred here to Notre Dame and there was so much so I was very happy for him and his family that had to endure a lot to get to this point uh, I think just Amir relief Carlisle. and satisfaction and happy for him. Uh, why was Amir Carlisle able to run 45 yards on that play well we caught him in a pressure and Troy Nicholas did a great job of turning his guy out uh, we made a nice check at the line of scrimmage so it started with Tommy Reese uh, Troy Nicholas, and then got some good perimeter blocking from the receivers. Two plays later, Tommy hooks up with DeVaris Daniel for a 32-yard touchdown. Yeah, nice play set up uh, with, with uh, some good play action. Tommy moved his feet very well in the pocket, something that he hadn't done in the past, uh, and just put a good ball to what we call green grass. Just put it where he was the only one that was going to catch it. Uh, that was the, the step in maturation that we've seen in Tommy in preseason camp which gave us so much confidence to know that he was going to uh, really have some really big numbers in the passing game, and we saw that on Saturday. Certainly there's some throws that he would like back. And for him to come out in, in this game, a first start for him uh, in a long time, and play uh, when, when it's a real football game, uh, I thought he did very well. You know, he, he set a career mark for himself in terms of, you know, yards. It's a pretty good uh, start for him, and he knows he can play much. 
And you didn't waste much time. First play of your next drive, a little swing pass to TJ, your senior captain, and he showed why you expect him to make big plays. Yeah, good look uh, again at the line of scrimmage. Tommy got the ball out to him. Troy Nichols again, a very key block on the perimeter. Uh, and TJ's explosive with the ball in his hands. It's not just now catch the football, but it's the, the yards after the catch. Two plays later, it's Reese and Daniels again. Nice play action fake. Uh, uh, we had time for Tommy to really set the play up. Uh, and again, uh, a throw uh, to Green Grass. Temple did score late in the half, but then Reese and Big Troy Nicholas came up with an exciting and very important play for your team. You know, one of our uh, two-minute plays where we're going to push the tight end down the middle of the field, you better cover him with a safety. If you don't, uh, we think we've got a great matchup if you put a linebacker on him. And we got linebacker coverage. Tommy threw, threw a great ball. And then Troy, he kept his feet and then used his speed. And he's, he's a guy that... Uh, can be hard to cover in the back end of a defense, and he showed that with a, a great run after the catch. The Nicholas touchdown gave all the momentum to Notre Dame as the two teams headed into the locker room at halftime. Now, so far, we have focused on the Irish offense, but the Irish defense was also very good Saturday, not only helping the Irish get off to a quick start, but shutting down the Owls in the second half by allowing Temple just 126 total yards in the final two quarters and no points. We'll take a look at that fine Irish defensive effort right after this timeout. to try new things. Now we have bold new tastes like never before. You like things made by hand. We're now grilling up freshly made egg whites. You like to cool down. We just added a refreshing new smoothie. You get wrapped up in things. We're introducing new delicious ways for you to eat. There's no one quite like you. Now more than ever, there's something for everyone to love at McDonald's. Be in our app. Go to I'mLovingIt.com. Customer Aaron Swenson bought from us online today. So I'm happy. Sales go up. I'm happy. It went out today. I'm happy. What if she's not at home? She, she won't, won't be, be happy. happy. Use UPS. She can get a text alert, reroute, even reschedule a package. It's UPS my choice. You happy? I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. 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 I love logistics. Yes, the Irish offense scored twice in the first five minutes of the game against Temple, but that would not have happened if not for the three downs and out effort turned in by the Irish defense the first time Bob Diaco's unit took the field in the game. Yeah, good start for our defense. The three and out and, and getting some pressure on the quarterback in third down. Um, I think, you know, at times, you know, the way they ran their offense, it was hard to get to them because the ball was coming out so quickly. How about the overall play of your defense? Solid. Uh, and I think that they would tell you that there's m more room there for improvement because you're going to have to work really hard to score on us. And we showed that again. We only gave up the one score. You know, we continue to keep uh, the ball in front of us. We continue to tackle. If we do that, we're going to be in pretty good shape. You lost an inside linebacker who almost made history by winning the Heisman Trophy. So how did the guys who stepped into that void do? Well, you know, you're not going to replace Manti. What we'll have to do is, is continue to grow at the position. You know, obviously it's new for Dan Fox. You know, he was a will linebacker, but now he gets to play at the Mike position. He'll look at it and he'll learn from it. Jared Grace got in there and did some really nice things as well. So as the first game goes, um, pretty good job. You told the media a few weeks ago, you're missing the boat on Prince Shembo. How did Prince do in the first game? Always around the football and uh, he's always putting pressure on the quarterback, regardless of what the situation is. And uh, he's playing much better in space. You know, if you ask him to do a job, he's going to get the job done. Stefan too, had had an important sack during uh, a drive in the second quarter by Tempo that was picking up some yardage. Uh, you know, everyone was worried about his weight and being too heavy, and, and I thought he did a nice job of fighting through it, had some pressures on the quarterback, made some nice plays in the run game as well, um, and he's only going to get better week after week. 
They knew what your strengths were, and, and they made your defense work. And they were driving in the third quarter. They got inside your 10-yard line, but then your defense stopped it. Yeah, you know, they had a couple of opportunities. We brought some pressure and played some zone, mixed some things up. You know, our defense has been that way. You know, that's the way we play. We're going to play every down, and we're going to force you to execute. And we came up with a huge stop there on fourth down. And then your offense... I guess, rewards the defense and turns around and puts the game away with an impressive drive, including a big catch by Chris Brown. You know, big third down. They came down, brought some pressure. The only play that we needed at that time was a one-on-one fade route, and Chris Brown was stepping in for uh, Devaris Daniels, who had a little bit of a groin strain, and uh, that's the next man in. Chris came in there, made a nice uh, back shoulder catch. And And the touchdown set up by a nice run by Cam McDaniel. It was. It was. It was a play intended to go up inside. He bounced it out. The ball was on his inside arm, and he wasn't able to get uh, separation from the defender, but he got it down to the two, three-yard line, and then we were able to pound it in from there. There is your final score once again. The Irish defeat Temple 28-6 for their 13th win in their last 14 games. There are your final stats provided by UND.com. The Irish racked up 543 yards in total offense, the fifth highest total of the Kelly era. Notre Dame also did not turn the ball over. Not surprisingly, Notre Dame is now 11-0 under Brian Kelly when not committing a turnover. With Saturday's win, Kelly becomes the second youngest major college coach to reach the 200 victory plateau and achieve that earned him special recognition from his team after the contest. We take you now back inside the Irish locker room for this week's ATI Physical Therapy Strong and True Moment of the Game. As everyone heard outside, tonight was Coach Kelly's 200th career victory as a head coach. Oh, yeah. And to help present us with this game ball is his first quarterback as a head coach from Grand Valley. Uh, I was captain, four-year starter, Grand Valley Hall of Fame, so I like to call it Jack Hall. It's not about one coach. As you guys know, we got a great staff, and, and I've been lucky along the way. Most of these guys that are behind me have been with me for these wins. Uh, so you don't get here unless you got a great staff, and, and they've been with me a long way uh, with these wins. And, and so it's, it's not just me, it's all these assistant coaches that have been part of it. And the biggest reason for Notre Dame's productive offense Saturday was quarterback Tommy Reese, who threw for a career high 346 yards. Um, everyone's on the same page, and everyone has the same goal offensively and defensively, and everyone uh, gave great effort uh, each and every play. Special teams played well, had a takeaway. So uh, it's just really exciting to see everyone out there flying around. Yeah. Coach Kelly giving us the, the constant reminder that we're taking each game, one game at a time, and um, you know the four points of emphasis, you know, starting fast, effort and enthusiasm, and, you know, just, you know, finishing strong, and we really, um, I think, practiced that today in the game. The coaches did a great job of, uh, you know, getting checks and new alignments for us, so it was great. I felt good to hit someone else instead of uh, our own team. We prepared for this game like it was our last, and, you know, we're going to continue and prepare for Michigan like it's our last game. Farley is one of the veteran leaders of the Irish defense and says Notre Dame played well in the season opener because of a team-wide unity of purpose. You know, the pleasure for me was, you know, being able to go out there and, you know, play well enough to, you know, get, you know, a W and, um, you know, playing for my teammates, playing for the coaches, you know, playing for the university. The student body was great out there. You know, they had unbelievable support. It was real good. You know, it was a strong start for us. It definitely gives us confidence leading into next week and the rest of the season. And it kind of, you know, showed glimpses of where we can be and the greatness that we can achieve. It felt awesome. It's always great to start the year off with a win and, you know, and and to come out and play as as well as we did. Um, It's a great kickoff to 2013. It really uh, excites everyone moving forward. The leadership of this team is clearly coming together. When we come back, you will meet this year's Irish Catholics. You wait all year for summer. This summer was definitely worth the wait. Summer's best event from Cadillac. Let summer try and pass you by. Lease this all-new Cadillac ATS for around $299 per month or purchase for 0% APR for 60 months. 
The best offers of the model year end September 3rd. Ultra-rugged phones from Sprint. Buy one, get four free, and $150 credit when you switch your business line to Sprint. The pioneers in Push to Talk. There are few honors greater for a football player than to be selected a team captain. While the Irish practice on the morning of August 22nd, white capital letter C's were being sewn on the jerseys of three players at St. Michael's Laundry. When practice ended, Coach Kelly gathered his team around and let them know which players would be serving as captains this season. We've got a lot of deserving leaders on our team and regardless of whether you have a C on your jersey or not, I want our leaders to continue to lead both on and off the field. I've chosen three captains to represent our football team. You don't represent just the defense, you don't represent just the offense, you represent the entire football program. Our first captain he happens to be a defensive player. Uh, come on up here, Bennett Jackson. Then it's a very loud, outgoing person. He's going to lead you on and off the field. He's one of those leaders who's not afraid to get in your face. Uh, thanks to all the coaches. It's an honor. Um, I mean, you know, defensively, offensively, we know we got a bunch of leaders. Uh, you know, it's an honor that I get to put the C on my chest, but at the end of the day, I'm just going to play my role, continue to do the things I do. Uh, I love all you guys, and, you know, let's just get after it. So, thank you. is another uh, young man who's come here and grown and has earned his way in our football program and now has led by an example of the way he's worked both on and off the field. When you talk about leadership, you got to do it 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Our second captain is T.J. Jones. TJ is a great leader on and off the field, always does the right thing, great student, uh, great overall gentleman. He's really picked up his intensity, he's continuing to grow as a player. I think he'll be an excellent leader for this team. Congratulations. Uh, just a quick thank you to the coaching staff and you know you guys, I love you. I'm going to do my best to lead, I'm going to be a more vocal leader on and off the field. Be someone that leads by example, that does the right things all the time, who you guys can look up to and you know, I love you guys, straight up. Thanks. <laughs> The 18th two-time captain in the history of Notre Dame football, and that is uh, Zach Martin. Zach, come on. Uh, Zach is more like myself as a leader. He's a lot more lead by example, but he's that guy who comes to work hard every day. You know, no matter the bumps, the bruises, the soreness, he's always there to give his 110%. Zach's overall, he's just a great guy. You know, he's always there for his teammates. Uh, he's friends with everyone. He's a very approachable guy, uh, and he's a great leader. He's a great vocal leader, and he's a great leader that leads by example. What you guys can expect from me is just the same guy every day. So I'm going to be out there working, trying to get everyone else better around me. And then uh, if uh, you guys need anything, don't be hesitant to come up and ask me. Um, always open for uh, anything. Thanks. Those are your 2013 captains, and uh, we are into the 2013 season. It's time to play. Three outstanding choices to serve as the captains of the 2013 Fighting Irish. That piece is just one example of the weekly football coverage we will bring you all season long on the web on watchnd.tv on und.com. Now against Temple outside linebacker Prince Shembo made four tackles and collected an impressive five quarterback hurries. With that in mind, you know he will have no problems as we rush him through this week's 60-second drill. Player on the team most like you. Romeo. First car you ever drove? Uh, Toyota 4Runner. Do you have a celebrity crush? Serena Williams. 
Favorite breakfast meal? Omelet. Get up early or sleep in? Sleep in. <laughs> Best nickname on the team and who has it? Best nickname on the team, Ishak Rastamon. One thing you always hear from Coach Kelly at practice? Stay out the cylinder. Funniest thing that has happened in practice this season? Funniest thing that has happened, nothing. First word that comes to mind when you think about Camp Shiloh? Middle of nowhere. Climbing wall or zip line? Zip line. Shamrock series? Another game. Hardest hitter on the team? You're looking at him. <laughs> Best singer on the team? Corner. Best dancer on the team? Uh, Tory Hunter. Best comedian on the team? Kendall Moore. Best dresser on the team? Dan, uh, Dan Smith. Worst dresser on the team? Tyler Stockton. Best thing about playing for Notre Dame? We get to play another football game. Brent Shambo, you've completed 60 seconds in Inside Notre Dame Thank football. Thank you very Thank much. You. Yes, sir. All right. The Bears are going to have a really strong offense this year. But the Lions are poised for a comeback. Really? Hey, Dad. Hey, guys. I can't tie my shoe. Poised for a comeback. Big time. With fresh party trays, meats, and salads prepared daily, Meyer makes tailgating so good, you never know who's going to show up. Awesome tailgate. From Meyer, right? From the pros to the peewees, Meyer makes tailgating even better. Notre Dame Federal Credit Union is kicking off the summer months with auto loan rates as low as 2.34% APR. Plus, when you get your auto loan at Notre Dame Federal Credit Union, you'll receive $100 cash. Not in the market for a new car? Just bring your existing auto loan from another financial institution and we'll give you $100. Hurry, this offer won't last long. Apply today. Call, visit a branch, or apply online. Notre Dame Federal Credit Union. Become part of our growing community where rates are low and our members are happy. It's time now for this week's Ask Coach Kelly question, presented by CBTS. This week's question comes from Rhett Riley of Bartlett, Tennessee, who asks, Coach, would you consider adding more trick plays to your offense to keep opposing defenses guessing? I think you always got to have something there. It's just, you know, when do you use it? I, I always like, if you're going to use a trick play, use it before they do. You know, get it out early to keep them off balance. Uh, but you also know uh, there are some games that you don't want to show some things, and Temple was one of those games where we weren't going to show much. If you would like to send in a question for Coach Kelly, all you have to do is log on to UND.com and click on Ask Coach Kelly in the rotating boxes in the middle of the main page. Next up for the Irish, a talented Michigan team in Ann Arbor. The Irish beat the Wolverines at Notre Dame Stadium last season and built a 17-point third-quarter lead two seasons ago at Michigan Stadium before losing a heartbreaker 35-31. You know, we went up there two years ago and, and suffered a, a very tough defeat, uh, a game where we obviously had it in the balance and, and let it slip away. Uh, but it's a great atmosphere to play up there. I think everybody knows of, you know, the winning percentage of both programs, and both of them have great traditions. Uh, but it's two teams that, uh, you know, want to continue to win. There's certainly a game that our guys uh, – obviously know as being one of those tough, hard-nosed, physical games that uh, are going to go four quarters. And, of course, it will be the last meeting between these two teams for a while, so it should be a good one. That will do it for this week's edition of Inside Notre Dame Football. We, of course, will be back next week with all the highlights of the 41st meeting between Notre Dame and Michigan. Until then, thanks so much, Fighting Irish fans, for watching, and as always, go Irish! Inside Notre Dame Football with Brian Kelly has been presented by Team Notre Dame members Adidas, Gatorade, McDonald's, Coca-Cola, and Sprint. Inside Notre Dame Football has also been brought to you by ATI Physical Therapy, Bank of America, Cadillac, CBTS, Xfinity, Meyer, Notre Dame Federal Credit Union, Sears, Sirius XM Satellite Radio, and UPS.